the energy and the education of Nigerian youth and obedient movement have been simply amazing. Mr. Peter Obidon come out to thank all the obedient family worldwide. According to Mr. Peter Obi, in talk say in they thank them with in hearts, with the kind of support and love where young people and obedient families show them all over the world. Now, son to be say, in no fit take for granted. In can go further to talk, say this no be the end. Say this one now just the beginning for them. According to Mr. Peter Obi, in talk say we shall continue to endure persist until we reach our destination because a new nigeria is our destination i remain consistent in my belief for a possibility of a new nigeria built on character competence capacity integrity respect for the rule of law based on justice and fairness now this matter don't create a lot of controversy online because a lot of people don't they talk all kinds of things. When I not say after the Supreme Court's judgment, Mr. Peter Obi and the team come out and say, them, they know accept the judgment, but there is nothing they can do. They are people who respect the rule of law. But of course, what we hear some of the things when Mr. Peter Obi talk, if I advise you, make you just stick around, watch this video till the end because you go like him. And make you don't forget to like, and make you don't forget to comment, and make you don't forget to share. Oh yeah, see the video. The energy and the education of Nigerian youth and obedient movement have been simply amazing. I appreciate and salute them. I want to assure them that this is not the end of our journey, or in fact, the beginning. Nigerians heard you, the world have taken note, and will not forget easily. We shall endure, persist, until we reach our destination. Because the new Nigeria is our destination. A destination is not an event. We thank, in a special way, our legal team. We also thank elder statesmen whose wise counsel were immeasurable. To them, we wish to state unequivocally that this judicial outcome, an obvious misinterpretation of substantial justice, has by no means foreclosed realization of a new Nigeria that is possible. On personal note, I take pride and express gratitude to those who share our vision, who have exhibited rare courage to challenge the nefarious system, the genuineness of individuals, identities, and their de defining and qualifying particulars up to the highest extent allowed by law. Nigeria holds out hope of infinite possibilities leading to a desirable greatness. I remain consistent in my belief of a possibility of a new Nigeria built on character, competence, capacity, compassion, integrity, respect for the rule of law based on justice and fairness. God bless you all. God bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Back, Unado here waiting Mr. Peter Obi talk. It has been series of press conference and all kinds of things. You know, a lot of people don't they react to the video, negative and positive. Any which way, the country must move forward. Election don't come, election don't go. That, just like Peter Obi talk, there is nothing he can do, nothing they fit do. And I like the fact, say, Peter Obi and his team, maybe uh, Dr. Ahmed, they, they respect the rule of law. You understand? They respect the rule of law. I like the fact say after all the election, no foul language, no all those ones where we say with the year before. Where you say after election, they will begin to talk all kinds of things. We don't hear any of such. They are respecting the rule of law. They, they follow the rule the way it's supposed to. But somebody go talk, say, if Mr. Peter Obi don't reject, you know, the the the, the outcome of the Supreme Court, where next thing they go? What is next for him? But of course, uh, this one uh depend on Mr. Peter Obi and in team.
But recently, he got one video where the video don't they fly for internet, and the video, now the video of the governor of Imo State, where we say they call Hope Uzodema, when he carry himself go University of Imo State to go campaign. But as they reach there, they think no turn out as planned because the students they disgrace them. They just they chant say no light, hey, no light, hey, no light. But look, we watch the video. back our politicians suppose they rise beyond expectations not be only when they need something at that time they go they go it means say all the while where the governor they you know even know say these students they don't even get lights maybe not because of say the governor they even come now make light day or maybe they, they run generator but i and i like i like the courage of the students to come out to tell the governor say light no day anyhow we go see i'm making see i'm i'm making do the need for because all these things are basic amenities we're supposed to do for the citizens. Sometimes I go to day first to ask, say, as a citizen of Nigeria, waiting be the benefits. Waiting be the benefits, say, you be citizen of Nigeria, just like every other country where they do well. Become a citizen's privileges day. What is the citizen of being in Nigeria? Because you don't just have anything from lights to water to good road to security. Nothing is available as a citizen. But meanwhile, feel free to tell me what you think about all of this. Feel free to share. Feel free to comment. Make I also know what in your mind. But just in case that the first time you see me, just get the first time you come across my video, you like my content, you never subscribe. So I beg, click on the subscribe button. I make you don't forget to follow me across all social media platforms. My name is Sidney Lawrence OKK. Okay, let me one nanari. Up to the next one. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> my